Hi, uh, again, my name is Brandon Scott Davis, a brother at uh, Orient Lodge. I'm the curator for the, our museum. Um, before this, to give you a little history of the of this room, before it was the museum, it was a ladies' parlor. That's a, what its original function was. And uh, I believe Order of the Eastern Star would, you know, meet and they would gather in here as well. And um, it hadn't been used for quite a long time and uh, Worshipful Gary Cullors came up with the idea of changing it into a museum after I think he visited Ezekiel Bates in Alboro and um, they have a nice museum over there. So we wanted our own and we took everything out and um, the walls were all kind of a, uh, a tan, everything was tan. So we didn't even know that we had really nice picture rails uh, up the top. And I think Gary's wife uh, decided, picked out the color, the green, which is really, really a nice color for this room. Anyway, we had Boy Scouts in here painting, a whole bunch of people in here painting. We had the floors refinished and it uh, turned out really, really nice. Um, and then we put, we bought these, some of these cases, um, we bought these here and assembled them. We have a, a tall case in the other corner uh, donated by uh, worshipful Ken Shaw. And that holds most of the items that um, are donated to us or are on loan to us from other brethren um, personal things. The other cases here contain things that we've got from either our own archives um, or from other lodges, uh, either in this district or wherever. And uh, we have quite a few things that are not on display. And every once in a while, I change things out to keep it fresh. Um, but in that tall case, it's really interesting. There's um, things from all around the world, from Israel, from you name it, it's there. Uh, and a lot of that stuff came was donated to the museum uh, by Right Worshipful Richard Burgess. Uh, really, very nicely of him because some of these things are pretty rare and uh, you're not going to really see them anywhere else. Um, and it's something to see, so you should come down to our lodge and and um, have a look at it. It's uh, pretty interesting. We have um, old belt buckles, we have glasses, we have um, pins, of course, and just uh, little statues and all all different things that you're some of these things you're not going to see anywhere else uh in one of the other cases we have old um silk aprons from the mid 1800s um plenty of old books um again some things were donated by um right worshipful burgess but uh, a lot of things, some of the aprons we had sent to us, donated uh, by, I think, um, Plymouth Lodge in Plymouth. Um, they were brethren from this lodge and they had them, they donated them to us. We have um, on the, a case over on the corner by the window, we have uh, a display of things that were, were just uh, given to us by um, Lafayette Dover Lodge when they were Lafayette Lodge and they discovered these things in their archives and um, some of them are really really interesting they there's two gavels one of which I have here and um, it's it's a pretty fantastic gavel there's another set over there which you'll see a photo of um, a barrel gavel which I don't think I've ever seen another one like it. And that was um, this little note here that says presented, Gavel presented to Washington Lodge, Brother Fox. Um, and that has to have been in the, the 1800s by looking at, at the thing there. Also with that, um, there's, there's a good amount of books. And this one here is the bylaws and um, it's from 1867 and it's Ambrose Davenport, which you can find him online. Interesting person. Um, and then we have some photos of 
de Malay and some of the old, you know, the uh, officers from way, way back and, and different things. Uh, in this case, we have a, um, a very old projector. We have two of these, and this one uh, is the better of the two, um, and it has a couple lenses, and then we have slides there of the lodge when it was uh, being, or when it was built. The lodge when it was built, we have other slides, and correspondence from the 1800s. Um, George Washington, uh, a, uh, the facts about George Washington and Freemasons, that's one of first edition, one of 3,000 or 2,000, I think. Um, you probably won't find one of those readily. And then we have the secretary's desk, which um, it wasn't originally a secretary's desk, but in our, in our explorations of the lodge, we found one of the original typewriters, one of the older ones, and uh, thought that it would be really nice to make secretary's desk in here because we had the room and um so we bought an inkwell with with a with a um feather scribe thing and then um a uh, seal which it's not the lodge's seal because um you know we don't want a lodge seal exposed but uh, this actually i found on ebay and it was a mammoth mining company from the uh, early 1900s, 1904, I think. And um, it still works, but uh, of course it's not a Sonic one, but you can't tell the difference and um, it looks really good. In the future, we plan to have a glass top with actual letters under here that would have uh, been made from, you know, the quill and the ink and make it look a little more um, authentic. And then this chair, we have, we built, we had two of these made um, back in 2011 for the Lodge's 150th anniversary. One of which we, we um, donated to one of the brethren and uh, the other one we kept in the Lodge. So we, I put it here to kind of complete the look of the secretary's desk. And one of the, the last, and then anyway, we have, um, one of the last things we have is um, we have a, a cornerstone by the uh, fireplace and that's the original cornerstone for the building back in 1916 when they put the building in that was there. 2016 we decided to look for our time capsule and we found it and it was inside the cornerstone. So we took the cornerstone part, got the time capsule out and that's a whole different segment I think. It was very interesting. And um, then we had a new cornerstone uh, put back in, but that particular cornerstone, we saved it. And um, now it's one of the displays in the, in the uh, museum. And then on top of that, um, Right Worshipful Charlie Briggs donated this um, display to the museum. And that is uh, square encompasses of uh, and it's made of butterfly wings. That's translucent look that you see there is um, butterfly wings. And that was done in the 60s, I think 1961, down in, I think, Jamaica. And um, that's a pretty interesting thing being, you know, 70, um, uh, sorry, um, you know, uh, quite, quite old now um, for what it is. Um, you know, from like 1961, it's it's a pretty neat thing. It looks like it was just made yesterday, but it wasn't. It's um, 60 years old, I guess. Um, and that's it. That's what I have so far.